Audiobook Academy Biography Presents Ariana Grande As a former sitcom star turned pop music sensation, Ariana Grande is best known for her smash singles Problem, Bang Bang, Dangerous Woman, and Thank You, Next. Overview When Ariana Grande was a toddler, she began performing on stage. At the age of 15, she was cast in a Broadway play and then appeared in a few tiny TV roles before landing the role of Cat on the hit show Victorious. Later, she went on to produce five successful studio albums, Yours Truly, 2013, My Everything, 2014, Dangerous Woman, 2016, Sweetener, 2018, and Thank You, Next, 2018, all of which reached the top of the charts, 2019. Early Life Joan Grand, a philanthropist, gave birth to Grand on June 26, 1993 in Boca Raton, Florida, to graphic designer Edward Butera and businesswoman Grand. She began performing in local theaters as a child and quickly rose through the ranks. When she was 15, she earned the role of Charlotte in the Broadway production of 13, a drama about adolescence in New York City, her first major role. Grant was honored by the National Youth Theater Association as a result of her early role. Her next two roles were in the musical Cuba Libre and a guest appearance on the television show The Batteries Down. Roles in the Media Her breakthrough role came on Victorious, a Nickelodeon series. Ariana Grande played Kath Valentine, a quirky, yet hopeful, singer-actress in Victorious, which was set at a performing arts high school. While working on the program, Grand made her debut appearance on a record with the Victorious soundtrack. With Put Your Hearts Up, Grand released a song specifically targeted at her young Victorious fans in 2011. At the 2012 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, fans voted Victorious' favorite TV show. Grande's character Cat Valentine was still around after Victorious was cancelled in 2012. Sam and Cat, a Nick spin-off starring Jeanette McCurdy from iCarly, was her next project. There were suspicions that Gran wasn't having a great time on the show, and it was abruptly ended after 35 episodes, 2013-14. Songs and Albums Yours Truly and My Everything In addition to Baby I and Right There The Way was Grande's first single off her debut album, Yours Truly. Mariah Carey's 1990s soul inspirations were evident in the album, which was produced by Babyface, a super producer. My Everything, released in 2014, debuted at the top of the charts with sales of 169,000 copies in its first week. Iggy Azalea's song Problem, which debuted at No. 3 on Billboard's Hot 100 and sold more than 400,000 copies upon its release, preceded the album release. In addition to Break Free with Zed and Love Me Harder with The Weeknd, both of which climbed to the top of the music charts. Bang Bang. One Last Time. Grand collaborated with Jesse J and Nicki Minaj on the song Bang Bang, which peaked at number three in the U.S. in the summer of 2014. Another popular track from the album was One Last Time, which peaked at number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the United States. At the same time, all three of Grande's My Everything singles were on the Billboard Hot 100. Dangerous Woman. In 2015, Ariana Grande released her first holiday album, Christmas and Chill, which included the hit single Focus. When Dangerous Woman was released in February 2016, it debuted at number 10 on the Hot 100 in March. With the track's success, she became the first artist to debut in the top 10 with the lead singles from all three of her studio albums. Lil Wayne, Macy Gray and Future are among the artists who collaborated with Dangerous Woman, which opened at number 2 on the Billboard 200. Sweetener in April of the following year, Grand returned to the top of the charts with No Tears Left to Cry, a catchy and optimistic response to the Manchester concert bombing the year before. After The Light is Coming, featuring Nicki Minaj, she released God is a Woman in mid-July, Breathe in, in September, and The Light is Coming in June. Pop diva Taylor Swift released four new songs in August, including one about her affair with Saturday Night Live actor Pete Davidson, on her highly anticipated album Sweetener. Her Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album in February 2019 was a result of the popularity of Sweetener. Thank You, Next. Her fifth album, Thank You, Next, was completed in a matter of weeks. Two chart-topping singles, the title tune and Seven Rings, were released in early November 2018 and January 2019. To great acclaim and a new track Break Up With Your Girlfriend I'm Bored, the album premiered in February. When she took to the stage at Coachella in April 2019, the 25-year-old singer became the youngest performer ever to lead the festival, as well as the only female to do so. 
Around this period, she worked with two chains on Rule the World, Victoria Monet on Monopoly, and Social House on Boyfriend. Miley Cyrus and Lana Del Rey collaborated with Grand on Don't Call Me Angel, a song from the film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, later that year. Stuck with You by Grand and Justin Bieber topped the Billboard charts in May, followed by Rain on Me by Grand and Lady Gaga later in the month. Positions. It was Grande's third album in less than two years that was released in October 2020. Dangerous Women Tour Bombing. Grand sang the song Beauty and the Beast for the live action film's soundtrack in 2017. Her Dangerous Woman Tour, which included North America and Europe, began in February of that year. 22 people were killed and more than 100 injured when a suicide bomber detonated his explosives at the Music Hall's exit on May 22, 2017, following a performance by Ariana Grande. According to British Prime Minister Theresa May's remarks following the assault, all acts of terrorism are despicable. But this attack stands out for its horrific sickening cowardice, targeting innocent, defenseless children and young people who were supposed to be having a good time. On Twitter, the pop star reacted to the heinous crime. After the attack, Ariana Grande abruptly called off the remainder of her Dangerous Woman tour. At a benefit event for the bombing victims held on June 4 in Manchester. She invited friends and fellow superstars like Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry and Liam Gallagher to play. Before the show, Ariana Grande visited injured concertgoers and gave away 14,000 free tickets to those who had attended the May 22 show as a thank you. On the 7th of June, Ariana Grande began her tour in Paris, as she announced on Instagram, Tonight is the first gig since the break. Every step of the way, we're thinking of our angels. You have my utmost devotion. Appreciative of all those who helped make this possible. You had my adoration. You had my adoration. When she opened out about her struggles with PTSD in the following year, the singer confessed that she was still dealing with the ramifications of the incident. It's hard to talk about because so many people have endured such horrible, tremendous grief, she told British Vogue. There is no way for me to talk about it without breaking down in tears. Awards 6 iHeartRadio Music Awards five MTV Video Music Awards, and three American Music Awards are just some of Grande's many honors. The singer has also been nominated for 12 Grammy Awards, winning one. Acting. In 2015, the pop star had a special appearance on Scream Queens before making a cameo appearance in Zoolander 2 the following year. As Tracy Turnblad's best friend Penny Pingleton, she appeared in Hairspray Live. On NBC in December of that year, it's no surprise that Gran has become a popular host of Saturday Night Live, bringing her musical and acting talents to the show, including amazing impersonations of fellow pop divas Britney Spears, Shakira, Rihanna, Celine Dion, and Whitney Houston in a title theme sketch. Season 2 of Jim Carrey's Showtime sitcom Kidding featured a cameo appearance by Ariana Grande in February 2020. Charity, Social Media, and Fragrances to go along with Ari by Ari Grande and Frankie by Ariana Grande Perfumes, Ariana Grande and her brother have created two more ventures in addition to their careers in music and film. On days when she isn't on stage, she devotes her time to a variety of philanthropic organizations including Kids Who Care, a non-profit she co-founded that raises money for local charities. She also has a big social media following on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat and was named to Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in 2016 for her social media efforts. Private Life In August 2016, Grand made public her relationship with The Way collaborator Mac Miller. Both parties called it quits on their relationship in May of last year, after a courtship spanning over two years. It doesn't matter how our relationship evolves or what the universe has in store for either of us, I'm grateful to have him in my life in whatever shape. Grand shared a picture on Instagram. She got engaged to SNL's Davidson, her boyfriend of several weeks, on June 11, 2018, People reported. It was only a matter of time until the couple's sweet social media messages to one another became the subject of controversy once video emerged showing Davidson making a joke about the Manchester concert bombing months earlier. In September 2018, Grande's relationship with Davidson seemed to be affected by Miller's accidental drug overdose death. The singer and comedian had broken up by October 2018. After a brief romance with Social House's Mikey Foster, Grand began seeing real estate agent Dalton Gomez, with whom she is now engaged. They got engaged in December of 2020 and were married in May of 2021. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy.
Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.